case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a pivotal case that probed the professional conduct of real estate agents, the Iowa Supreme Court upheld a ruling in favor of a couple who had suffered serious financial losses. The plaintiffs, Harold E. Crutchley and Anita S. Crutchley, argued that their hired real estate agents had failed in their professional duties to provide accurate advice and recommend legal counsel. At the heart of the case, Crutchley v. First Trust and Savings Bank was the poorly managed sale of the couple's land. After the buyers defaulted on their payments, the Crutchleys were left with the hefty financial burden of regaining possession through forfeiture proceedings and eventually had to seek bankruptcy protection. The Crutchleys held their real estate agents, Don Fischel and Jim Short, responsible. They accused them of negligence and breach of contract for their failure to provide accurate advice concerning a non-recourse clause in their contract and their neglect in suggesting legal counsel. In a contentious court battle, the jury found both parties somewhat at fault. However, the Fischel estate challenged this verdict, asserting the evidence was insufficient and the causal link was tenuous. Facing this complex web of claims and counterclaims, the Iowa Supreme Court made a decisive ruling. Upholding the lower court's verdict, the justices asserted the significance of the opportunity to sell theory in determining the plaintiff's loss. Therefore, the verdict rested on the idea that the Crutchleys could recover damages based on the loss of opportunity to sell their property at fair market value. The case proved to be a landmark decision, shining a light on the role and responsibilities of real estate agents, as well as providing a legal precedent for using the opportunity to sell theory in professional malpractice claims. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.